Greetings. Hey, girl. Hey, this is Donita. I am the host for today's episode of Between Us Foods. Today's topic is dance stigmas. But before we talk about it, um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, to get notifications of our new episodes as well as new projects that we are releasing soon. And as always, leave us a comment, leave us a like, follow us, follow us at On One Studios. And now let's just chillax and Between Us Foods, let's talk about it. So before we get into it, um, damn stigmas, um, I do want to announce something very special. Onma Studios just released our new merch line. So as you can see, we have hats, shirts, uh, sweaters, sweats. I um, mean, you could purchase this right now at our studio. And unfortunately, you can't order it online right now. But it's in the works. So check us out um, at the website or Instagram for all our new fresh um, fits. Okay, cool. So today, again, we're talking about dance stigmas. I have my regular foods again with me. We have Kim, we have Kevin, we have Boogie over there, and we're gonna talk about dance stigmas. And to get started, I kinda just wanted to ask you guys, when you hear the word dance, what, what comes to mind? Just dance. It's a lifestyle. Lifestyle? Mm. Mm-hmm. That's the first word. <laughs> Hard work. Hard work. Art. Creativity. Me too. Art. Um, I would say fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about when you hear the word dancer or being a dancer? Hmm. Or a dancer? People. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Person. laughs> hmm. It's interesting. That's harder for some reason. I, I, I agree with Kim. I think the same thing. What? People? people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just community. <clears throat> community. Uh, when I think of dancer, I, I kind of think of hardworking also for some reason. Um, I think about different. Mm, like Diversity. Diverse. Yeah. Inclusivity. Ooh. There you go. I like that word. Now we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So... You know, us, we have a perspective where we are dancers. Or, um, So what are some stigmas, generalization, stereotypes that you guys experienced when you were growing up as a dancer or starting out your journey or even mm-hmm. now, you know? Mm. <clears throat> Dance mm. like a man. Oh. oh. <laughs> man. So what does that mean? I know. Uh, what, what's your experience Exactly. What that? does that mean? <laughs> like um, you would hear what does that? that mean? Someone yeah, says, yeah I definitely like got that critique before. And I don't know, I mean, sometimes it comes down to things like body type. Mm. So I'm definitely on the scrawnier side, um, but you would have to compensate by like, you know, like taller people have it harder to hit lower levels yep. and short people do kind of thing. <laughs> yep, so, yep. so uh, <laughs> yeah, hard to explain, I don't yeah, really I mean, know, yeah. I think when I think of what we say that, it's kind of like, um, don't dance this style you know what i mean yeah. like that when i hear dance like a man it's like dance like this song <laughs> right. hip-hop you know yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Not like r&b yeah something like that like it needs yeah. to be masculine not feminine mm-hmm. yeah yeah and it, yeah it does depend on whatever the song or the vibe calls for i guess mm-hmm. yeah like i think even when i'm as a as a homosexual dancer, I guess I'll call it that, cisgendered homosexual dancer, a lot of people like kind of expect me to be good at femme. Mm. Like it's mm. like the expectation, but honestly it's not, like I can do it, it's just I'm not 100% comfortable with my body to, to do it, if that makes sense. Mm. I, I don't have that like skill set. <laughs> so that's yeah. something that like, I feel like I deal with all constantly. That and stuff. expectation? Yeah, that expectation. Definitely, I would say as a female, like yeah, like we get expected to dance like a girl mm-hmm. all the time. Right, like, exactly. don't dance swaggy, don't dance like a gangster. Um, especially coming from <clears throat> people that aren't in dance and even your parents sometimes, you know? Um, I get that all the time, too. Mm-hmm. What about you, Kim? What was the question again? Uh, wh- <laughs> you know, what are some stigmas, generalizations, stereotypes oh, that you've man. experienced when you started out dancer right now? You know what? I think a question that I want to pose to you guys is um, when you go out 
in the community and you meet other people who aren't dancers? Do you <laughs> put that out there that you are a dancer? Good question. <laughs> great that question. That's the thing that I want to know because when I'm with people and they're like, oh, tell me a fun fact about you or like, what do you do? I mean, <laughs> yeah. sometimes I'm know, kind right? of like, I'm kind of like, should I say something? Because I know after that, the follow up is going to be like, oh, show me something. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, yep. what do you do? What's your go to move? You <laughs> know? Oh, like, man. Yeah, it's something I experienced because I think the 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 space where I'm le- least likely to say something about me being a dancer is probably my day job, my workplace. Mm-hmm. I think it's this weird thing where like I don't want to say it because I don't want to experience that generalization about what dancers are, yeah. and then I don't want to have to go through that explanation of like, you know what? Actually, this is what dance is, and wow. What, like how dancers are and you know so I kind of generally avoid it to be yeah. honest mm-hmm. I think yeah that's weird I actually yeah. do do that in a social setting I don't like I don't know, I'm still like thinking about it lately I've been kind of been trying to own it and be like yeah I'm a dancer you know mm-hmm. right that's what I do type of thing <laughs> but yeah definitely it's still hard yeah I find myself owning up to it more recently as well like if someone asks me I'll take that opportunity to kind of explain Mm -hmm. and uh i mean like not definitely not go like too in depth about it but i'll like take the opportunity to like teach them something and like show them that like yeah that's so much more than just the trendy moves or whatever Mm -hmm. you think anyone would normally think dances Mm -hmm. just off the bat yeah yeah um i think the first thing that the first question like you guys said is the like oh what kind of dance actually like that mm-hmm. every time i say like oh i'm a dancer that's like true. at work it's like oh what what do you do and that's where i had to really hone in on the the definition of urban choreography because yes. oh, i was like yes. they're like what's that i'm like hmm <laughs> like, so, so what is it so you choose ur- the term urban i do sometimes i still say oh hip-hop you know just to mm. again I, yeah. I avoid the conversation i don't right. know why i think i'm just not ready to mm-hmm. like say something wrong i don't want to represent it like accurately that makes sense yeah. so i kind of just generalize it but do you say urban yeah is that i use i do just a, a kind of your mindset of just owning to it mm-hmm. like this is what i do and then um i guess taking on the responsibility almost to educate other people of what that is and my definition has kind of changed um, but right now it to me urban is like what like the uh, like a culmination of a lot of different styles that are found in your area or in your city and then it's just put together in a dance routine right it is stemmed from hip-hop but as ultimately it's a a bunch of different styles put together and so that's kind of what i tell people um and then they're like oh, okay cool <laughs> and i'm like because <laughs> they don't know what to say after that <laughs> <laughs> like that's a lot that's right, a lot of information yeah, it's hard, right? thing to process yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if they don't even know what really dance. I, I find myself, like, if I do see them, like, kind of, like, oh, confused, mm-hmm. I'll, like, be, like, aka hip-hop. Mm-hmm. You know, I still use the term. Mm-hmm. But uh, I still do my best to, like, explain it's, act, but this is actually, like, so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, once you put it out there, like, yeah, I'm a dancer. I dance. What, what kind of um, responses do you guys get? Um, questions i guess i think they were just they're just they think it's cool Mm -hmm. overall um for non-dancers just because it's i guess i forget how um niche niche Niche. of a market um it is for like dance in general in the grand scheme of things right and so when people when people the big response i think is that people i think even when i use the word hip-hop or even urban i think their brain goes to break dancing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And they're like, oh, so can you do like like break like a head spin? <laughs> like, no, yeah, sure. that's not what it is. But mm. yeah, like that's like the that's the usually the follow up when we go to the hip hop side is that mm. old yeah. That old um connotation. Yeah, connotation mm. of it of like, you know, baggy clothes and just like the old eighties, nineties look. Feel. Which is what a lot of um I don't wanna say industry, but studio dancers like um like for um so like a lot of at least okay how do I explain this a lot of (laughs) studios that I'm like I I still see like they label their their like hip-hop program as Mm hip-hop which I I can't say it's not Mm -hmm. but like the style of like their costumes and stuff like 
um, like dance convention stuff. Oh, you guys kind of know what you're getting? saying. I, okay. Um, yeah, yes. like they still have that baggy pants oh, okay. or like look fitted yeah. hat tilted mm-hmm. kind of you know. Yeah, so it's still very much like Present, a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Cause um, in a previous dance studio that I worked at they went into a convention competition and like I had to order costumes from this oh, <laughs> this this company I There's don't even websites, remember right? yeah. Yeah. and what? then they have like preset yeah. costumes for mm-hmm. you that you just order um yeah which are you know they're great they look awesome it's just it is still present that yeah. type of look exactly mm-hmm. I like even though like people I guess know that I'm a dancer in terms of like um, outside the dance community and stuff, mm-hmm. I still like I try to prevent them from really like seeing me dance, mm. <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, I choreograph like at the office, like at our gym and stuff, but like mm. I just don't want any you of those like it, the, yeah, like I just don't want to like that attention drawn to me, uh, I guess for that. So I try to avoid it mm-hmm. yeah. entirely. But they'll see you late at night downtown. <laughs> I don't make. <know, maybe. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's, you know, that's another, I think that is a stigma that I've heard before is like, oh, dancers are cocky. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, I've cause, never heard that one. um, because I don't know why, where that came from, but because dance is so staged and glamorous mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. what you see on media, um, it can come off of as like, especially hip hop, such an aggressive right. mm-hmm. style, like it can come off as cocky. For for hip hop, I think maybe mm-hmm. other styles. They, there's different. That's true. Stigmas around that, but you know, deep down, we're actually really shy. <laughs> you know, yeah. like oh, we yeah. don't like to. Per- <laughs> we most of the time we we like to dance when the, at the perfect time. You know, not just mm-hmm. like oh dance. You know what I mean? It's like acting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Depending on the vibe of the choreo choreo or the song, like you match it. Mm-hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean it's who you are. Exactly. But people, I can see how people can mm-hmm. like mix mm-hmm. that up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what other generalizations that I've grew up with? Well, it's the whole like dance won't take you anywhere mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. of thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a hobby, oh. which it can be. Right. But mm-hmm. I think, especially from our parents, you know, like oh, like what are you spending all your time doing dancing what where is that going to take you mm-hmm. you know type yeah. of thing. you guys got that a lot oh yeah oh yeah. yeah like you think this is a career like you know and it's like because because i think dancers the the ceiling for them is not as glamorous as singers you know yeah dancers are usually seen in the background for sure which that's why people think parents my parents think that that's all you can do but it's like mm. no you mm-hmm. can there's a lot of things you yeah. can do with dance mm-hmm. and being a dancer but yeah, I mean, even after all these years and of dancing and yeah, I don't really like see myself particularly like becoming like an industry dancer and mm-hmm. dancing backstage, but you know, even like opening up the studio and just like really getting involved in everything related to dance, I still feel like I'm to this day trying to prove to my parents like, yes, I or can do, people, yeah, right? or to, mm-hmm. people, right. to people in general, but I mean, I very much care about, mm-hmm. you know, my parents' opinion mm-hmm. and stuff and want them to be to be proud but it's like i think i'm still to this day like trying to prove to them that dance can really go further Mm -hmm. and just go and we can push it to the next level Mm -hmm. and so i don't Mm -hmm. really think they see the full scope of everything yeah they've come out here and seen the studio right and they have been to open floor they went to open floor last Mm -hmm. year um but they haven't gone to like any of the competitions and stuff so Mm -hmm. to see the gravitas or like like, that's a whole different yeah Yeah. thing yeah Yeah, not many people Mm -hmm. know Mm -hmm. but um what are your guys's parents thoughts about you dancing same as what (laughs) kevin just said to be honest (laughs) i mean i'd hate to be another stereotype but typical asian parent right (laughs) uh go to school, get a good job, make mm-hmm. money, be okay, right? Yeah, yeah. And I obviously it's out of love, right? Yeah, they want the sure. best for you, yeah, yeah, so I understand that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, my mom definitely like saw like, it's just a hobby, it's not really gonna take you anywhere. Mm-hmm. But um, dance has honestly like, brought me most of like, the best experiences like in my life. And like, I'm glad that I rebelled, you know, <laughs> enough to keep doing it and stuff. So, because mm-hmm. I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't be the person I am without dance. Yeah. And I feel like it's so much more than just physical activity. Mm-hmm. It's like mental conditioning. It teaches you 
character, it teaches you hard work, dedication, all that stuff that um, you might not get anywhere else. So yeah, yeah very grateful. Um, but yeah, my parents, she's definitely like leaned back. She's starting to see that um, uh, like it's something I do really care about. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, near the beginning it was very, it was, kind of difficult to mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely keep, do you show your mom your work mm -hmm. uh <laughs> some i mean i don't go out of my way and be like hey mom look at this but uh -huh. like sometimes rarely she'll ask me oh, okay and then i'll show her and then she like i put on like a performance of us like on stage or something mm -hmm. And then she, all she's doing is like, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm like, mom, you got to look at it as a whole. It's yeah, not just about, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, it's, she just, it's, she just wants to see her son. So yeah. 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 What about you, Pam? Um, it's funny because growing up, my mom, she loved dancing, but mm -hmm. growing up in the Philippines and all that, I think she didn't really have that many opportunities to do it or other, or her parents just didn't allow her the opportunity. So growing up, um, she used to put me in, studio ballet you know tap jazz and all that with the hopes of me you know flourishing in that because like with her it was just like okay i'm gonna put as much like re recreational activity and hopefully you'll bite with something right? right um and so i was just the type of kid that didn't listen and i took you know creative you know inspiration <laughs> from the choreo that i would get and then when we'd have like what is it? Um, stage performances. I'd be doing my own thing. I could be <laughs> so embarrassed. I could see little Kim like doing <laughs> yeah. her own thing. Like, look at you! It's like she would like um, videotape my performances, and then she'd be like, "Look at you! Look at what you're doing! What are you doing there?" We practiced this so many times, and then uh -huh. after a point, like she just gave up. But like, yeah, we would grow up watching uh, when the like D TV shows. So when "So You Think You Could Dance" came out, she'd watch and she'd appreciate it. And it's funny because even though she pushed it on me, my brother. He grew up with like boy bands, right? In sync mm -hmm. back in the day with like the choreo and all of that. And he would just watch those videos over and over again. And like the movement would be ingrained. And he had like the Wade Robinson, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, VHS tape where he would learn the choreography and he would perform it at some <laughs> events. Oh my God. And so it's just like, here's me where she's like trying to put that, right. you know, that onto me. Whereas with my brother, she didn't push him towards that, but he showed like the potential and right right when he showed the potential she was just like no nip it in the bud like we're not we're not gonna do that and i think it was more or less because it's that fear of like if he really likes you know um dancing um there's that stereotype of the whole like starving artist right like there's so many dance yeah there's so many artists out right. there like i think she had that fear that if he pushes himself towards that type of career like he might ultimately fail how come she pushed it on you yeah. and not your Yeah, brother? that's the thing. Maybe it's the whole stereotype oh. as oh. well. You know, where you're talking about with boys mm -hmm. right. and that's dance. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because he's really good at, like, picking up choreo and all that. Like, he's kind of dabbled in it in high school, but he just never really was into it as much as he was when he was a kid. Dang. Oh, he's your and older so, brother, right? No, he's my younger brother. Younger brother. Wow. Yeah, like, Bring I would watch Insane. I yeah. would watch Insane, <laughs> and then he would just be like, he'd take it another further. Like, Bye wow. Bye Bye was, like, his... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love those. That's Definitely yeah. music videos inspired um, me, you know? Yeah, but even um, then now, like, when I tell her, like, I'm at the studio and doing work, she's always like, don't lie, you're gallivanting with friends, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, she still? Still doesn't, she still doesn't think it's a it's a real thing. Like, I'll show her every once in a while. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. look at all these choreographers. And to her, it's just like, but... What's that? That's what so an weird. interesting like journey yeah. that your yeah. mom pushed you and then kind of not anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to relive my history with the, the way... Um, I think when you're a kid, like younger than 12, it's a lot more easier to accept from parents to be mm. like, yeah, you want to go take dance classes? Sure. Right. But I think when I got to high school and I really wanted to join a team and like, um, my mom took me to the audition and I made it and, you know, going back home, my dad was against it. And I remember I was so upset because and my mom was upset too because she can't do she couldn't do anything but the fact that like I wasn't allowed to be in the team and and I was like why I don't understand <laughs> I don't yeah. understand and what she said is because he's just like afraid of the stigma mm. around mm. hip-hop dance and being oh. a team it's kind of like like a gang 
That's what oh, he was yeah. saying. Right. Maybe that's... And I was like, okay. But eventually, being the teenager I am, I rebelled. You know, I, mm-hmm. I snuck out and went to practices. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, gosh. I've been to competitions pretending oh. I w- didn't go to competitions. <laughs> like, you straight up lied and we went to uh, L.A. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's so crazy. I don't recommend you doing that. Like, have a healthy conversation with your parents. But yes. I, I just really wanted to go. Um, And, like... What am I gonna do? Really, mm-hmm. I was in. I think I was in college, and I had to go to LA to our dance competition. And like, how am I gonna stage this elaborate lie mm-hmm. where I'm going, yeah. who I'm going, how I'm getting there, type yeah. of thing? You know, and I obviously succeeded, but it's just it was a struggle having to deal with that from your own mm-hmm. parents too. Yeah. My mm-hmm. my 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 other family was all for it, but I think mm-hmm. my like my parents were the ones that were really against it and stuff, but. Yeah, because of that yeah. stigma. How are they now? Um, they're super supportive now. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think they came around and they just, like Brandon said, like they just see how much I'm really passionate about this and they just mm-hmm. want me to be happy and they are supportive of this business and like where I'm taking it and mm-hmm. also... Um, when it comes to like showing them dance performances, I, I show I'm like, hey mom, look at this. You know, what I mean? <laughs> this was our competition. Like we were so great. You know, we got this place, whatever. Mm-hmm. And the reaction isn't what you I would want to expect because of course they don't understand right. it. Yeah. Like they don't have that eye. <laughs> yeah. Like we mm-hmm. do, but um, I just show them anyways, just to yeah. give them a little snippet of what I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and my mom has Instagram, so oh, yeah. <laughs> she sees like our my posts and stuff, and like she's very social media savvy. So, mm-hmm. um, she, I'll, I'll see yeah. her like something, and I'm like, oh, cool. Sure. <laughs> my mom's on um, Facebook as well, and she'll be like sending me on Messenger like little videos, like, right. hey, check this out. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. thanks, mom. But also in addition, like now that I'm thinking about it more, maybe because you know how you said that your parents thought maybe like joining dance is like kind of a gang. Mm-hmm. I think maybe my mom thought like with hip hop especially like she would think that he would my brother would like go into like they like delinquents mm-hmm. maybe yeah. right because mm-hmm. like with ballet mm-hmm. and like jazz it's a little bit more prestigious, prestigious. That's you true. know so yeah. maybe that's the difference yeah yeah so I can see that i think it comes with an age thing uh, overall yeah, like sometimes i mean there are moments i guess where teenagers or parents look at teenagers and are like you don't know what you want mm, right true. and so um it it got easier as we got older and we, you know, followed through with our responsibilities, like right. we kept our grades up and everything was fine, um, even though we're doing all this dance stuff. So, I mean, I still deal with it. Like a lot of my um, my junior team, like a lot of them are pulled out because their parents don't want them to commit to that when they, um, when our, their parents pretty much want them to focus on school. And I was telling them, my advice to them was like, if you really want to do it, just prove that you can do both, right? Mm-hmm. right? Like just True. prove that you can, keep your grades up to an A or B, whatever standard your parents have for you, yeah. um, and still dance and still pursue the things that you want to do. Like, cause then, you know, you just earn it. Yeah, cause mm-hmm. I think to the parents, it's like a distraction, but it's actually yeah. more of a motivation. Right. Um, mm-hmm. You could prove it to them that it's actually motivating me to get good grades so I can do my passion. Right. Um, when I was on your junior team, th- we would have report card checks. <gasps> dope, yeah. that is dope. So, yeah. Motivation for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is so, that is so dope. I actually really like that. And yeah, so it's like you know, outside. I think parents in general are just trying to look out for their children, and I understand. And I think maybe I don't know why it's dance in general, but you know, parents put their kids in sports. Like, mm-hmm. what's the difference, right? Maybe because there's a like a that's more another legit. topic. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, but as far as more generalizations, um, what do you guys think about this stigma that dancers are incl- exclusive? They're Ex- clicky. Clicky. You know, like mm. exclusive, like you're not a dancer. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're not going to hang out with you type of thing. Or maybe in a dance team, there's, you know, cliques can form. Mm. You know, um, I find that interesting that like when I find out someone else, I guess, for example, is a dancer, um, it's like I'm not immediately like, my initial gut reaction isn't like like immediate connection. 
Like, yeah. I don't know why. I think I have to know mentally, personally, that it is like urban dance because that mm. is that particularly is what I can really connect with. Oh, that's true. You and I mean, I don't like that. That's a habit of mine. But I mean, it's just kind of the reality of what I'm just noticing of my behaviors. Because um, I do know a lot of like, let's say, like, oh, I'm a dancer too. I do ballet, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. But that uh, ultimately, that's all I can really say. I can't mm-hmm. relate to it. So it's yeah. Um, in terms of being clicky, I think that's just kind of a bad habit that I have even. I'm going to admit to that <laughs> stigma, mm-hmm. I guess, for myself. I can't speak for everyone, but um, for myself, I just have that mm-hmm. bad habit that I want to break. So, yeah. yeah. like Say more like you... Oh, so like... like exclusive? <laughs> yeah. Is that oh, yeah. Kind of like it's like it's like I can only really connect with you if you're an urban dancer. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Get, like get if, in terms of dance, right? Um yeah. See. So if I find out you're a contemporary dancer or a folklorico dancer, or mm-hmm. like that doesn't cl- connect to me as much. So in terms of exclusivity, like it's like, oh, we're in this like urban club, right? And I just don't like that mentality mm-hmm. and I'm trying to break it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think I have a more m- broader view, I think. Um, like I see a dancer as a dancer. Mm. Like and um, I totally get what you're saying though. Yeah. yeah. But um, I feel like I more see like, oh, you like spend work or you spend like hours at practice working hard too. Like even if it may be a different yeah. style, like I still feel like there's things that I can relate to. But honestly, when I think about it, I feel like I kind of hang when it's like outside of dance. Like if I'm at school or something, I hang out more with like people who don't dance. dance. Mm. And I don't know if it's because, like, I'm just surrounded by dancers so much that I need other people that with different, um, what's the word, backgrounds mm-hmm. slash interests, interests mm-hmm. so that, like, I can learn more. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know no, what it is. It. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I forget where I was going with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just to have the variety in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I think... I don't, dancers are exclusive. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to understand where people, where is that stemming from, that generalization? By the way, this is something I like looked up. Like, you know, mm-hmm. dance stereotypes. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe it's because like dancers spend so much time training and like being mm. in practices and like mm. going to t- competitions and stuff like a lot of their time are either at the studio at a practice or with people that are in their team because mm. they they're just so they have a goal like a really goal that you have to just have spend a lot of hours doing so it may look like they don't do anything else with other yeah. people that makes sense True. so maybe that sense. that's where that generalization mm-hmm. came from but I don't think that I think from the people around me, I don't think dancers are exclusive yeah. at all. Yeah, like I don't I think, think so either. Just like you said, dancers need a break sometimes. <laughs> they need like that variety in their life and like, you know. I will say though, there is some not some I should, there is exclusivity within like the dance community itself. That's like true. for sure. Mm-hmm. And this is with everything, obviously this clicks. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I feel like it's most prevalent when like you look at the more like, I guess, well-known people, the elite for lack elite for lack of better words. Uh, I feel like it's gotten better, mm-hmm. but th- I feel like there was definitely a time period where like, oh, only the cool kids hung out with the cool kids. Oh yeah, and like, you know, or like mm-hmm. tier A, tier A <laughs> hung out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. But um, because that happens in da- dance teams, you know. Right. Exactly. You're yeah. not casted. Yeah. It, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, within dance teams, it, with, amongst mm-hmm. all dance teams, almost yeah. at a point, mm-hmm. right? It was like, oh, who do you dance with? It's like, oh, right. Like it's <laughs> right. Like, right? Yeah. It was like, oh, <laughs> right. Like I think it was just kind of. It, it's better. It's a lot. Better it's a lot now. better now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thankfully. So. So. Um. Any other words, Kim? Dancers are exclusive? No, like, I mean, I definitely agree with your point. Um, Because, I mean, when we even think about our own lives, like, who are our strongest relationships, our best friends? Are they dancers? Most of the time. (laughs) Most of the time. And that's mostly because we spend the most amount of time (laughs) with them, right? And we're sharing this this huge interest. So, yeah, I can definitely understand why people think it's inclusive, but exclusive. But, um, 
guess what? We're inclusive, guys. Yeah, and that is yes. our mission as Onwin Studios is to spread <laughs> the joys and benefits of dance. Yeah. <laughs> Come join us and be our friends. Um, yes. All right, so I want to go into another stereotype that I've heard, star slash stigma. Um, I mean, I'm going to broaden this stereotype a little bit, but basically, it's because dance is a very athletic activity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you use your body. There mm-hmm. is, I think, stigma with body type, you know, or oh. physical. Like, let's say dancers are f- <laughs> dancers are flexible, you know, um, or Ooh. like like if you're a dancer, you probably look like this, you know, mm-hmm. um, or you can probably right. do this, uh-huh. you know, something like that. Yeah. Do a head spin. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> right. Story time. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm about to share this story. But I was dating someone and like. Um, it was online dating, mm-hmm. no shame. And it's like, oh, you're a dancer? Oh, you probably look like this, you know? Like, and Damn, I'm like, he said that. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the truth in this world, you guys. But I mean, it is a stigma. It yeah. is like, and I think it's because of the way media has um, affected dance. Right. You know, mm-hmm. the people, media in general, like the, the people that they cast for, for dance videos, commercials, movies, you know? Um, and I think, I don't know if you guys can relate, but Mm -hmm. like even your family would like, you know, it's like, do you dance? Do you really dance? Like, you know, because blah, blah, blah. I don't want to finish the sentence, but, (laughs) um, well, to touch on the flexibility thing, I'm probably one of the least flexible people in the world. (laughs) I can't even like, (laughs) if I sit like with my legs spread out, I can't even like sit up straight. I have to like lean up. I can't lean back, but I'm, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to lean stretch? back. Yeah, like, right. I can't even sit straight. Yeah. Like, oh. and I think it's partially just because I'm, like, a taller dancer, so I honestly need to, like, stretch more than mm. most people do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, which is, like, a bad habit of mine. Mm-hmm. But I'm, it's it's hard. Like, I think yes. it flex, being flexible is, like, its own commitment. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Like, dance... It's inclusive, so that means, and it's diverse. So you're gonna have different body types. You're gonna have different people with different abilities. Not every dancer is what you think they are. You know, like mm-hmm. I can't stretch for sh- my life either. <laughs> like I was about to say, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I and I think that's important to like understand your own body mm-hmm. because you might, as a dancer, a young one, if anything, you might think, oh, because dancers should be able to do this, so I mm-hmm. should be able to like push my body to this limit but that might end up like hurting you in the long run mm-hmm. which is uh story time part two <laughs> <laughs> uh i thought like when i was like dancing on a previous team when i was younger we would have to stretch like at the beginning of practice and stuff uh after working out of course um but um i would always push my limits to be able to stretch like everyone else who was flexible around me but then because of that like now i have back problems because I overdid it, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. yeah, you definitely just be okay with... Your journey. Being okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah. It's also yeah. slow. Yeah. Um, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Can't mm-hmm. rush that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I was gonna say, no, well, with, with the whole flexibility thing, yeah. Because, I mean, like, I started in ballet. Story, part, story time part three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I remember going to practices and, like, yeah, you had to stretch, like, touching your toes to the back of your head, doing, like, the butterfly and touching your head all the way down to your toes. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> it was hard, man. Like, I don't think I could do that nowadays. But, yeah, but anyways, like, when I think about ballet, I really think about, you know, donning the, what is it, the leotard? Thing, mm-hmm. Right? And I remember, I don't remember if it was one of my teachers, but, like, as a kid, I was a chubsters. <laughs> like, I like to <laughs> eat, man. And so I think I remember my teacher, her assistant, like mentioning it to my mom about me, you know, gaining a couple of pounds. Okay. And even then it's like, you, you know, you're kid? like, yeah, it was yeah, like six, mm-hmm. you know, six or seven. And it's just like, I think once my mom heard those words, it was kind of like, well, you know, I'm not gonna push you to conform to this like standard. So if you like it, awesome, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll push you. But if you're not into it then by all means like you know pursue something else so oh, cool yeah. yeah i think ballet has the most strictest yeah i would say expectations for sure yeah. in general um and i hear from all the my friends that are dancers classical dancers and it's like they struggle with that you know being compared 
to and like having to look like this because I get it because you posture you know ballet is a very mm -hmm. structural dance mm -hmm. and your body needs to be needs to show those shapes mm -hmm. and I yeah. kind of get it um, but then again you know you're six like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're six years old like yeah. um, I think there is just it, there's a fine line yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it also like when you think about it there these words at six it's like once you get older and you're like in the in the whole community in that environment like that's not the worst that you're gonna hear that's true. you know what I mean yeah. and if you can't mm -hmm. stick it out then yeah. in there which is which sucks right? right then like maybe this journey isn't for yeah. you in the long run yeah because yeah. it's, it's a grueling it's crazy it's being grueling. in this field I agree yes yeah. yeah yeah so like in particular with ballet like there's this kind of I guess even stat like with male ballet dancers and stuff, I think that in itself is a very how do I how do I describe it? I guess stigmatized. I don't know if that's the best word. Like stereotyped type of industry and stuff. And mm -hmm. so like, I mean, especially recent like recently, there's a story going on right now with Good Morning America um, and stuff, which we won't get into t a lot, but we, I do want to kind of like touch upon touch it. touch yeah. upon it because I think it's something that. Especially as a male dancer, I'm very affected by. It. I don't. I'm not a ballet dancer, right? But I think, um, just, I think it's important that this actually came up and that um, that we're able to kind of talk about this because I think um, there's kind of this like make I guess gender normative thing where dance has typically been uh, like viewed upon as a feminine thing to do mm -hmm. and stuff. Obviously, it's much better now, but. Um, you know, there's still those cases where um, on the media, right. maybe it's still portrayed a certain way. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say about that? Should we give context? Uh, what's yeah, going on? I mean, yeah, if, for those who don't know what's going on with it. Do I, or I'll, do you want to? Okay, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> well, uh, mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Kevin. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so, okay, I forget exactly his name, wrong. Travis. Um, he had talked about a segment that was going on on Good Morning America where um, the host was kind of talking about, who was it? Prince um, George. Prince, Prince George. George. Um, who is, how little, old? he's like, young, he's little a, kid. A young yeah. dancer, who, um, and he was put into, or wanted to take dance class. Ballet, yeah. Ballet, mm -hmm. ballet specifically. And so um, while giving this information, um, the reaction that I guess the host was having was very, what's the word? I guess like looking down upon it. Or degrading. Degrading. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, like you a know. bully, but like a, a little, little bit, bu a little they bit bullying. Fun. It was it, it. It sounded like the tone was very like light, not lighthearted, but it's um, like, just uh, joking. You know, like something yeah. not not taking seriously right. as if mm -hmm. like yeah, yeah. And so, just kind of, I actually haven't seen the seen clip. the clip because mm -hmm. I don't know if, pers like I, I don't know oh. if I'm like personally ready to like look at it oh. and stuff. But hearing the story, like I was just like wow, like even to this day, 2019, like yeah. we're still dealing with this is, is yeah. pretty crazy to me. I remember she said something along the lines of, she was, so she was listing about his things he's like currently interested in. Mm -hmm. activities, and then, yeah, yeah, activities like, I think. Like math, science. Math, science, yeah. poetry, a bunch of other stuff, right? And then dance was at the end of the list, ballet specifically. And then she started like, I guess, uh, laughing. And then mm -hmm. that triggered other people around her to, to laugh. laugh as well. And then she was, she said something along the lines of, uh well let's see how long this lasts mm -hmm. and yeah. and the way she, it's in a way it's like oh it's, yeah it's just the way she like just commented i think it was very what's the word it wasn't considerate i think the way yeah. she mm. was talking about it um yeah there's an implication that dance isn't for men mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or specifically, or specifically for, too. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and so, yeah. Whereas ballet, like we said, can teach you a lot of things, yeah. right? A lot of discipline, a lot of like body control, a I'd lot say of it's like the hardest. It's a very athletic yeah. style, definitely. I think it's the hardest, mm -hmm. if it's anything. It's the hardest. Out of yeah. all the dance styles, it's probably the hardest. Isn't it like as well, like with athletes, like football players and all they, that, they, they, they have, have them? Do. I saw something like a segment oh, about that. rugby players. They're, mm. They are put into ballet classes or sessions so that they get balance and, um, like technique, body awareness, That's all crazy. these things <laughs> that you might find in a ballet yeah. specifically. Mm -hmm. so. But um, yeah, I think ballet, hip hop, any type of dance, like 
I think, yes, it does require a lot of athletic athleticism and that's why we train and we do all these things to keep because your body is your instrument Mm -hmm. i just think that just because you're someone is a dancer there is no there is no look like their dancers don't have to look like this specific thing and in this box you know and that's what's great about this community is like you can literally go to anywhere and you don't know that the person next to you is a dancer. Yeah. I always do this where I'm like, I totally do not like a dance, do not do not look like a dancer. And I, I'm <laughs> proud of that almost. Yeah, a um, bit. Just because dancers can be anyone. Dancers, right. anyone can dance, mm-hmm. you know, and um, there isn't this one look that we should all be trying yeah. to achieve. Right. Like it reminds me of those like viral videos where you're at a game and then you know like the, uh, um, the cams they show different people and like you like dance oh in like front an of audience them. yeah like yeah. like the warriors mom or uh, like oh. yeah. you know um those people on the signs doing like the lines and all checking like mm-hmm. and people dancing and they're just like flat out amazing and you would never know it right mm-hmm. so universal yeah. language mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly so um i think there's probably a lot more stereotypes and stigmas if you have anything that you've experienced feel free to comment below um i think from our experience these are the ones that hit us the most um i think it's a conversation to always have and i'm glad we we have this platform to talk about it and um as in general as a community um, let's try to kind of break those yep. stigmas and kind of shed a positive light towards dance um, because we're all in it together, you know. Um, but any lasting thoughts about dance stigmas, stereotypes? I just want to shout out like people like Sora Yang who are like constantly breaking the mold. Mm. Yes. Like, um, what's her motto? Uh, she has a lot. Right? <laughs> she, has a lot, a lot. Yeah, she has a lot. Yeah, she has a Tiny but mighty. <laughs> tiny but mighty. That's the one I was thinking about. That's okay. one of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny but mighty. Like. Oh yeah. Mm. Right. So what if I'm a girl? So what if I'm a guy? So what if yeah. I'm small? You know, mm-hmm. like I can still be powerful. I can still have a voice. Mm-hmm. I don't have to dance how you think I should. Mm-hmm. Stuff yeah. like that. That is true. Respect. Mm. That is respect. Shout out to her and everyone else that is trying to expose. Um, dance as something more than just what it is pretty yeah. much um, any other thoughts no I mean I think we touched really quick on it but I think we honestly can have a whole podcast based off of like I guess female dancers oh. and stuff that's a very much a like a whole topic in itself I think there's a lot more than just maybe the physical aspect of it that female dancers particularly have to um, go through I guess, or like mentally think about or have to like struggle with. And so I think that's actually something that we can very much expand on in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, that's it. That is our podcast about dance stigmas. Again, we can, I'd love to keep this conversation going. Um, Talk to us when you see us, comment, email us, whatever you need. Um, But that's it. Thanks for having us. Bye. Bye.